not taking Bible, I release everyone. And the moment, in the moment you release, those who won't offend against you also, the Lord will release you from you. Amen. God will come in today. Yes, once you say you are released, your heart is free. Mm. If there's anyone over there that holds offense against you, they are wasting their time. That is the God for you. He will fight for you. He will stand for you. He will support you. He will be on your side. Thank you, brother. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But can you tell us, have you been doing that in the past? There was the day. Uh, have you been doing that in the past? I've done it once, and I'll tell you what happened. Have you been doing that in the past? No. So you eat once? You eat, you, you eat once? No, it must uh -huh. be every day. You eat every day. You say, I've been doing it. You say, I did it once. <laughs> I'm asking him, you eat once? No. You say, you eat every day. <laughs> oh, my God. And we, we are mature now. We know the right thing. Have you been doing that in the past? He said, I did it once. Okay, you ate once since you are born. He said, no, you eat every day. <laughs> so, can you say you have to have free spirit? Mm, the answer you give us now seems to, to, to notify what you have said. We begin to doubt what you have said. Are you really, you really mean what you are saying? I mean it. All yeah. I wanted to say, I mean it. Okay. All I wanted to say is that one day... Don't say anything that will nullify everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't continue to nullify your good job. Say the first one, you say, before you read Bible, say it now so that we can take you by your way. Okay. <laughs> before you read Bible. Ah, you have two Bible. I've Cameraman? <laughs> no, two. Carry that one on top of the other one. Hey. I hope, I hope something strange will not fling on that uh, laptop. No, 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 no. <laughs> Clap for him. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you to thank you for being my friend, and my thank you for being my mom there. So, yeah, now, where we are coming from now? We are told that we must not hold grudge while reading Bible. We need a free spirit. A free spirit is hearing spirit. A free spirit is spirit that hungry for God's will. Testy and hungry. Testy and hunger for God's will. You can see the reason why you have not been very. I mean, I mean, the, the zeal, the urge for God's will is not there unless you want to, you want to send back to sender. Psalm 35. <laughs> It is when somebody has offended you, and it's very painful, or oh, you have nightmare, and the last night they, they came, they beat you, they, you can see the stripe at your back, even to the extent that they cut your hair, you start looking for a portion in the Bible to retaliate. You look for Psalm 35, Psalm 91. You look for that. You pray and pray and pray. You open the Bible under your pillow. 
in case they come. Hmm? So it's, the Bible is not like that. It's not like that. You want to say something? Okay, I'm coming. It's not like that. So the, the woman, the, our mommy want to say something. Can somebody, let's hear what you want to say. Bible is not like that. No, our mommy want to say something. You still want to talk. You want to talk. Uh, thank you, man of God, for giving me this opportunity to talk. Please, sir, I'd like to ask a question. Um, if you have um, a relationship that they don't want you, you, you're probably... Can you speak louder? A, a friend, you have a friend, and that person, that person does not like you. Or the person does not want you around. A, a boy, a man... Uh, like family friends, okay. A, a friend, just friend, generally, uh -huh. or neighbor, people you feel they <coughs> don't want you to see know. you. <coughs> they don't, they don't need your relationship. Okay. And you try to stay away. Sometimes they keep you malice. Even when you greet, they don't take that greeting. You know, they they make jest of you. Speak louder. Kind of. I, it's they like make jest of you. Can I help you? Let me help you. You say you have someone or a friend or someone who does not want to see you, just hate you for no reason. And uh, you need to forgive them if you have anything against them. On their own side, God will fight the battle. God used weapon of forgiveness to fight for us. Tell your neighbor. I tell your neighbor. God used weapon of forgiveness to fight for us. Once you forgive everyone, everyone, and you have free spirit, you are given the battle for God. You see God begin to fight for you fight for you. God will meet your enemy and say, will you forgive this woman? If you don't forgive, he has a way of handling the matter. Forgive the Esther. If Esther does forgive everyone, and uh, now Esther has free spirit, now God will now, the, 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 the seraphim of God, let me put it that way, the seraphim of God will now begin to move. You have to forgive Esther. Those who hold grudges against you, hold, forgive Esther. And if Esther, if you, you say, no, 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 he has a way of handling you, you, Esther, you forgive Esther. If you say, no, he has a way of handling you, Seraphim will continue to go all over to, to, to act for Esther, to fight for Esther, to meet those who are, who does not want Esther. And those who does not want to hear the voice of Esther, the, the seraphim will go all over and do the job. You just forgive and say. That's it. You just, you just forgive. It's a very powerful weapon. Say, forgive us as we forgive those. So it means if you now forgive everyone, he will take it upon himself, the seraphim will go around and begin to act for you. Meeting them one by one, you, you say you don't want to hear Esther, you say you hate Esther, he will, the seraphim will go and begin to act for you. Why you are just somewhere? Because of you forgive everyone. Your own is to just forgive and leave the battle for God. Leave it for God. Don't worry yourself. Leave it for God. Don't cry no more. Jesus is alive. Praise God. You can face tomorrow. He understands what you want.
So are you with me? Can somebody say, repeat what I say? Who want to repeat my word now? Who want to repeat what I just say now? Who? Who else again here? Okay, come on. Say what I just say now. Okay, come on. Give it to him. Say it to the world. God uses our forgiveness to talk to others. To fight for us. To fight for us. To defend us. To protect us. To secure us. So thank you. Any other question that has to do with this little? Uh -huh. Let's face this area. So to, to hold grudge against brother, you have already you have already gripped the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor to hold grudge against your brother, against anyone, you have already grieved the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Emmanuel, good morning. Thank you for this opportunity. The, the morning, good morning you are saying here, do you used to say that outside? No. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like somebody who say, in Jesus' name, here, outside there, he say it doesn't say that. It is where, but outside there, he will say it is bad. You say, how? It is where. But when you meet me in the town, I'll say, oh, it is bad. What kind of life is this? <laughs> Eh, tell me, so, how are you, T.B. Joshua? It is well, because I'm in the church. But you now meet T.B. Joshua in the New York or anywhere all over the world, or Keja. T.B. Joshua, how are you? Well, it is bad, you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of life is this? Can you imagine? Good morning is not an, uh, it's not just uh, saying, it's not just saying where. Good morning is praying prayer. Tell your neighbor, good morning. Well, it is a pity when you look at our, a, lot of, a lot of advertisement today. News, television, many products today, they call them good morning. And this is where they come from, the where. The where when we say good here in the synagogue. Don't let them devalue this. They may use it for their own product, but our own good morning, it is spiritual. Amen. Don't let don't just devalue it because you see it a product. I saw a product yesterday, three days ago. And they, they were advertising on CNN, on television, channel, t internet. Good morning. I said, ah, what kind of good morning is this? I said, and I was worried that uh, our partner all over the world, all over the world, would be thinking that uh, this is a product. They would just devalue. They look at it as a word. Good morning is just advert word. No, remember the first day here. This was five years ago. The word good money <laughs> is an omen. It has to do with your spiritual life. Look at my brother here. He said he will say good morning here. He will say good night tomorrow outside. <laughs> my brother said he, he used to say good morning in the church synagogue. But when he gets to the town, he will say good afternoon. It means that the, the one you say outside there has nullified the one you are saying here. The way good money is a revival to your life. It's a revival to your soul. It's revival to your family. Revival to your business. Revival to your career. Revival to your finances. What is good money? 
Tell your neighbor, what is good money now? Reviver to your family, to your business, to your career, to your family. Each time you say good money, you, you are refilled spiritually. Say, each time I say good money, I'm refilled. You know you need to be refilled spiritually. Each time you say good money, you are refilled. You have to say this. Many people will be delivered. When you say good money outside there, the, your brother, your boss, your boss will say, ah, good money this evening. Take your time to tell your boss. Be bold enough to tell your boss that this is a message from our ministers of God. And you can say, look, good money is refilling. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. At the beginning, it will be tough. Deliver people. A lot of people have been delivered from the outside there. You meet a lot of people that will say, good money, good money. They are not member here. By the time you ask them, how do you come about good money? They say, oh, a brother told them about this. The word good money is, is revival to refill you. Whether the person understand it or not. When you say good money, the person will say good afternoon. You say good morning, and the person say good afternoon. He will pretend as if he doesn't know what you are saying, but by the time he gets home, he will now rethink again. And say, ah, I, this man greet me good afternoon, good morning, and I say good night. What does he mean by good morning, and we are in the night? Food for thought. My brother, why do you say good morning here? And you say good night outside. Say the reason why I said it, I want to tap into that grace. Yeah? I want to tap into the grace that is in the word, in the saying of good morning. I want the grace that is in there. That's why I'm saying it here. You, you say what? Good morning. You say you say good morning here, but outside there you say good night. Why? Because I'm learning now. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's learning. How many years will you learn good morning? How many years will you learn good, just a well good morning? Now I've learned and I'll, I'll continue doing it. <laughs> Even you, you are smiling because you know what you are doing is wrong. How, how many days will you take you to learn a well good morning? Then the question. Uh, give me the give me. the question. Uh, I don't under, understand the question, sir. I think we need we need to have a school for you. You are not going home. You 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 spend 30 days. <laughs> the, you go. You have to attend school here. Amen. You give a cover of your children, your family. Amen. That TV Joshua say you must spend 30 days here. That's what I want. Yeah? That's what I want. <laughs> That's why that's what you want. That's what I need. That's what you need. That's why I'm here. Yes. But my question, sir, my question is You are not going to ask any question. <laughs> that was that was good money. If you cannot understand good money just in a second, what kind of question will you understand? I don't just know. Me too and protest. I'm not going to listen to your question. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's learning. For how many years now? Five years. We have been on good money. He says he's learning it gradually. Definitely, I don't know what you can learn. If you cannot learn. <laughs> okay, we, we listen to you. Okay, what is the meaning of good morning? The meaning of good morning is good morning to my career. It's good morning to my health, good morning to my finances. Uh, and when I say it, I get in feeling, uh, fresh anointing, fresh in feeling of uh, the Holy Spirit. So you know the meaning? Now, I, now that you've explained, say, I understand uh, the meaning. Now that you've explained it, I Now you understand? Yes, now I understand it. You don't watch a TV? No, I don't have a TV. <laughs> <laughs> this man is only I'm defend. He, does, he doesn't want to agree that he's fair. Okay, we agree with you. Yeah, ask your question. My question is that I grew up in a very difficult environment. You say what? I grew up 
in a very difficult conditions and I feel that my, my father abandoned me, my mother also abandoned me. So it's difficult for me to forgive them even now. I, I find it very difficult and I don't so, know... Don't worry, you'll be delivered. I come, stand up. I begin to, to know, since you know, say you cannot lend good money, just a well good man, I know something is happened to you. So when you are delivered, you under, we understand ourselves. Okay. Mm, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. <laughs> You say what? Uh, he's deceiving you. Which kind of powerful question? Which kind of powerful question we have not asked today? Uh, which kind of powerful question? He wants to deceive you. Uh, stand up. Let's see the person who wants to ask powerful question. Stand up. Uh, powerful man. <laughs> Listen to this man. He wants to deceive us. He just wants to deceive us. Uh, is it color? Camera, please put the. Ah! Our bishop want to talk. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I want to. I want to withdraw my words. In respect, in respect of that uh, white thing I'm seeing. I'm withdrawing my statement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Powerful question. <laughs> Emmanuel, uh, Daddy, there is this question concerning a message that you just passed. It come, actually come, has taken come, my Come and sit in front. I will look for a seat for you. Since that uh, white collar is not fake, you, come on, come on, have to sit here. <laughs> My brother will come and sit here. Uh -huh. Ah, this flag. Ah. <laughs> okay, start there, let's see it. Camera, you have to camera the whole chief of staff that is talking. Wait, <laughs> ah. you are welcome, sir. <laughs> okay, we, we never knew that you are the one, sir. Thank you, Daddy. Because you cannot just wake up and show this kind of dress. Something must inspire you. <laughs> I say, I say, you cannot just wake up in the morning and begin to show this kind of dress. There must be something behind it. We are sorry, sir. So we, we listen to you, sir. Thank you, Daddy. Before I go ahead, you have your own kind of dress like this that have been designed for you purposely. And uh, on that particular dress, the Lord ministered to me, don't, which is you. Don't forget what you are here for. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the question you want to ask. <laughs> Praise don't, the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, the question Ca I want camera, to ask. full shot now. What is wrong with you? The question you, you I want know, to you ask. Don't, you don't know who's standing before you. The question I want to ask goes thus. Uh -huh. Uh, our papa said we should learn to forgive and not to hold grudges. Oh. What of a case that you have forgiven and you said it is over and you struggle to let go, the same case is still stick to you. You say what? The same case is still stick to you. Uh -huh. and continue the same issue that you struggle to let go. You are forgiven and you still see it keep repeating. You say, ah, please, da, can you let this go? You say, I want to let it go. You are not going anywhere as I, I am here. How do you go about it, daddy? Look, our own forgiveness is not because we want our neighbor to forgive us but because of internal life. 
tell your neighbor, our forgiveness is not because we want our neighbor to forgive us, but because of our internal life. Eternal, eternal, eternal life. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. Eternal, eternal. because of our neighbor we live right because of eternal life i want to i want to be good i want to be good so that my neighbor will know i'm a good man no we, i'm not live good because of you to for you to know i'm living good i'm a good man i'm living good because of eternal life because you are forgiven now you forgive Mr. D Taye and Taye hate you. You say I forgive you, and the Taye refuse to forgive you. Uh, this is this is uh, this is. Uh, I mean, we are not doing that for that. God is our witness. Our neighbor cannot be our witness. Once you forgive. And that forgiveness comes from your heart. God take up your case. If someone is somewhere that refuses to forgive you and he wants to see your end, leave it for God. Leave the battle for God. But you are the one working freely, talking freely, with the attire you wear now. We can see that, uh, you know, we salute you for that attire. <laughs> you know, your neighbor, your, your enemy does not want you to walk freely. Thank you. If, you're any, if your enemy see you with this attire, they will cry. That this is the man we, we want him to cry, we want him to be on the sick bed. Look at him, he's putting on this attire. Your enemy will be crying. What else do you want? We are talking of internal life. You are talking of your neighbor that hates you with passion. If your neighbor hates you with passion, it's a weapon of draw you closer to God. Tell your neighbor, if there's neighbor that hates you with passion, it's a weapon of drawing you closer to God. Ask someone hate me with passion. I need go more. I need go more so that I will not just be caught unprepared. It's a weapon of draw you closer to God. Our tactic. What is our strategy and our tactic? If someone is after you to kill you, you change your weapon of you change your tactic and strategy. And what is your strategy? What is your weapon? What is your armor? <laughs> of in the past, when you people want me in jail, when you people want me to be key, when you people want me to be key and the name everywhere, I change strategy and tactic. My relationship with God. I see reason of, of having God the more. Pray the more. Huh? Yes, many of you know me. Before now, my stomach was big like this. Where is the stomach now? 
that is strategic and static. It is the flesh that will suffer more. So, while we are happy, I think as a minister of God, you are forgiven someone and say you forgive. That is when he wants you to die, to be key. That is, we, our forgiveness is not for our neighbor. It's not the reward of our forgiveness. It's not from our neighbor, but internal life. That is the reward. So thank you, brother. Let me give him seat there. Go and take your things there. Let's say this is a, a church where you can just put your dollar on the table and say Holy Ghost will watch over it. Go back to your seat and take your 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 Bible and everything. You just say eh, eh, Holy Ghost will watch over my dollar and my pounds and drop it on the table and say I'm going to I'm going to restroom. Uh, Holy Ghost washes, it's wet there. When you two, you are not washing over yourself, you want Holy Ghost to wash over you. Many of us are here to be delivered of different spirit. Until you are delivered from that spirit, the spirit will still strike. Tell your neighbor, wash and pray. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Not pray and wash. That is a wrong notion. Wash and pray. Not pray and wash. Wash and pray. That is before you pray, you have to what? You have to wash. Like you are standing here now. Look at how many of you are here. One, two, three, four. If you should live here, if you go there, you should be able to tell us the color of this dress, the size of the woman, what the woman put on. You should be able to say it. You should be able to say it. Your seat, the color of your seat, the people at your back, you have to wash them and take the picture in your heart for a while. Not just sit down. If you just sit down and leave and they ask you, can you tell us the man that sit your right side, the other side, the person at your back, and you cannot say any. You just come and sit down. The word Bible says, wash and pray. It will not watch for you, but it will help you in your prayer when you are ready. Because we don't know how to pray, but the Holy Spirit help us in our weakness. But to wash, you have to do that. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's say to the I fear of our mommy and our dad that are sick. Thank you. I want to pray for the viewers, please, viewers all over the world. Let me just open your hearts to what is about to happen. I, I know <laughs> some of us have been listening to the message today. It's all about a, a book that reads us even when we read it. So it means when you are reading a book and the book cannot read you, it's not a Bible. Any book you read and the book cannot read you, it means the book is history literature. But Bible, as you read, it reads you. It's like a mirror, the Bible, just like a mirror. As you look at mirror, you see yourself. Mirror see you, you see mirror. That is mirror. That is Bible. So it demands for an uncommon reading. 
So if you are to read, you need an uncommon reading, not an uncommon sort of reading, not just reading. Like any other book, you just pick up the textbook, pick up the history, and begin to read about the history of someone. No, the Bible is not like that. An uncommon sort of reading. That is, you must not hold grudge against anyone while reading Bible. You need free spirit while reading Bible. Because it is only free spirit that can contact the Spirit of God. And when you read Bible, you are reading the Holy Spirit. When you are reading history, you are reading about events. Reading history is reading about events. But reading Bible is reading about the Holy Spirit. You need free spirit to contact the Spirit of God. Because Spirit of God must carry you along while reading the Bible. Receive free spirit in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Every evil thought be broken. Every evil thought be broken. Be free in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. And how do we know that a book the Bible is reading you. You know when you are reading the Bible, but how will you know it's reading you? That's the question you need to ask yourself. So you open the Bible and you are reading. How will you know that it's reading you? Any, any uh, please, let's hear from. How how will you know it's reading you? When you are reading it, how will you know it's reading you? Good morning, Prophet. Good morning, Church. Good morning. The only time you know that the Bible is reading you, it's when it convicts you. Clap for Jesus Christ. Please clap for this man. Clap for him. Mm. We know it's reading us when you enjoy power of converting, converting power. Thank you very much. Now, when you are reading Bible, you begin to see when what you are reading is speaking to you, and you are, you are seeing yourself transforming. You begin to cry. Is it that you cry or laugh? Tell your neighbor. Is it that you cry or laugh? I can hear you or smile. You begin to you see yourself when you are reading the Bible, some portion you start crying. You start crying. You start crying. While you are reading, you start crying. You you start crying. You start crying. That is why it demands repetition. You have to repeat what you are reading again. You understand what you are reading, you want to repeat it again. You start crying, you start crying. Why some portion when you read, you smile. You smile aloud. You smile aloud. People are around will say, Why are you smile? What why are you why are you smile? They say, Don't worry, don't worry. That is power of converting. Converting power. Converting power. To convert you from this to that. From poverty to blessing. From sickness to go here, you begin to see something happen. That then is reading you. It's reading you. It's reading you. You see, it's reading you. It's reading you. Thank you, Clifford, our brother there. The power of conversion. So that is why when you are reading Bible, you need to be in yourself. It's not a book you read in the, I mean, white people are making now, you just sit down. You, uh, sometimes you need nature around you, nature. You have to be in, in with nature. 
So. Devotion. That is an unsought, an uncommon sort of reading. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sit down. Hallelujah. So now it is time for please sorry, I, I think uh, we, we 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 stop here and attend to people. I mean some of our mom that are waiting for healing. My 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 name is Queen Ogons. The problem that brought me to synagogue, I have a difficulty to walk, and uh, I have difficulty. To, I have a difficulty to. I have difficult to walk with severe pain, and uh, I, I have uh, I have uh, super sclerosis. I have back pain, and I have. Uh, uh, I cannot walk very well. You are disturbing my mom. You can see the thing affecting his uh, ability to talk. I have a, I have a, I have a bad pain. I have a, I have not eat rice today. I need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time I can make jets of you. By the time you are here now, you say, hey, 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 I will not see you again. <laughs> you talk better now. Amen. You talk the better. Don't worry. So don't worry. You know Jesus loves you more? Yes, I How do you know Jesus loves you? Yes, I know that he loves me because uh, he's the strength of my life. This is... Is the strength of my life. Is strength of your life. Yes, is the journey of my days. Is joy. Is the journey of my of my days. How how do you reciprocate? How do how do you show that Jesus loves you? Yes. Oh, I show that because, Jesus. Before because because before you are here today, all hope has lost. That is why you are here. Yes, Daddy. So is that, that should not be the right time. You will have come to Jesus at the beginning of uh, all this. So yes. uh, after all hope has lost, you run to Jesus. Is that the way to, to show the, this, uh, you, you love Jesus? I love Jesus. It's my strength. It's the hope I have that, that makes me to come from Germany to come and receive <laughs> you, you healing. Are re you are repeating yourself. I hope this has not affected you greatly. <laughs> <laughs> you are laughing. This is the first time you are laughing. Hey, you understand what I'm saying? It's like a detail really check every part of you. Part of my body. A part uh, of you. Part of my body. Even uh, brain. brain. Yeah? Yes. Did it affect your brain? It affect all over my body. Sorry, yeah? Huh? Which letter is this? It's my children. Ah. Uh, what is this? Uh, they too have this problem. And they have uh, challenges. Well, can you solve this one up first? We talk of your children. Mm -hmm. You have so much. Mm -hmm. Put this one down. Yes, put, this, put, put it inside your envelope. And talk about your health first. Eh? Yes, uh, when, you are, when you are recovered, then you can now begin to put in rice because you are the cause of the, some of the problem of your children you are not put them right the way of the Lord you spoil them you spoil them so but this is not the time to blame you now let's, let's get well Amen. Jesus love you Amen. ok so you listen to the message today yes, what, 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 what is your lesson what lesson have you learned yes my lesson I learned today we should have a heart of forgiveness. Hmm. And you are forgiving everybody I, as you are sitting here. I am forgiving everybody. Even including your husband. Yes, including my husband. Hmm. Are you really mean it? I mean it with all my heart. How do we know you mean it with all your heart? To show love with everyone. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody 
heard your property. Yes, Daddy. Speak loud. I know yes, I don't, Daddy. I yes. Don't know, I don't know. I'm just seeing you for the first time. It's true, Daddy. Mm, somebody heard your property. How yes. do I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to handle this matter. So that uh, issue of forgiveness, issue of no hold of fence will not come. Because I'm seeing somebody hear your property. It's true, Daddy. That is the first calamity that I have for my mother's family. That is the first what? The first calamity that I have for my mother's family. That is the first calamity? Yes. <laughs> they have all gang up for me. Yeah? All of them gang up about the issue property. I'm not afraid of my family, of my you are, mother. You are afraid? Yes. Because I see this is where your problem comes from. It's true, Daddy. Mm. I am here. I'm afraid to go back don't to cry. visit my don't, family. Don't cry. Don't cry. You this have been my father in the dream. Wait. Don't worry. Don't uh -huh. worry. I know, I know where, where your problem comes from. That is why I quickly pointed to that. That is where your problem comes from. Even <laughs> two of them you sent to school. Mm, one of them is in overseas now. No? Yes, I did. Mm. Your problem comes from all this. It's mm. true. Mm. Yeah, and there's some the 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 name immediately uh, you are okay. God has you recover. You need to put your home in order because uh, you have to call lawyer to change some name and to some property. The name you put there, you just register in the name of your family and many of them, and they want you now. The result is very bad for you. It's true, Daddy. Mm. So don't worry. After you get where well, <laughs> now you have to put in right. Okay, Daddy. And uh, your son too is way well. Mm, your yes. son is Edwin. way well. Mm. He's busy now. Yeah? Edwin, yeah. years is way well bed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's way well and it's bed wetting. Yes. Mm, don't worry. Okay, after everything, I want to see you. You Maybe if I cannot see tomorrow, you wait behind so that I need to cancel you. If not, you will still fall to the worst problem. Oh, Daddy, please. Because uh, when, you are, when you are here, you need to be cancelled. Amen. Mm, you need to be cancelled the way and manner. And uh, you are very lucky that you know where your problem comes from. I know. So, so, that's, that's, I mean, so that is it. There is a court case. There is a court case. Okay? But that's not it. Yes, it's true for my son. That's what I'm saying. There is a court case. The same son I'm talking about. Yes. Okay, come on. What's your name? I'm Queen. Queen, you are very lucky. I have enough time to talk to you to tell you the root of your problem. Amen. Even before, even before praying for you. I, I, I wish, please leave the place. I wish, I wish I have this opportunity to talk to everyone the way I talk to you. So that uh, you can jot it. After your healing, just go and write everything I say down. It will become a, a library, a, a slabbers for you. Uh, the, 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 a light to your path, to your feet. You can be reading it. Oh, this is what man of God said. This is what man of God said. Another, August is another special month for you. Amen. August, the month of August. It's true that is the, is the month I married. Mm. It's the month I get... Uh, I, uh, get... Uh, I, uh, uh, admission to university, get a uh, work in the Ministry of Justice. And one of your child it's was a special, born. It's a special day for me. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, she cannot even stand up. <laughs> huh? I, I I cannot stand up. I have uh, I, uh, uh, joy moving on my leg. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Come on. See, can you see the way he moved the body? Yay! Même Dieu prie dans la puissance du Saint Esprit. Après la parole de prophétie, cette femme révèle. L'onction de la puissance du Saint-Esprit à l'œuvre. Look here, look here, look here, look here, look here.
et la puissance dans le nom de Jésus Christ. L'instruction dans la justice, elle s'est bien marchée. Comment, 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 Salomé Elle est libre, gloire à Jésus. Gloire à Dieu, gloire à Dieu, gloire à Dieu. Let him move back before you put CTF on. He's supposed to be on the wheelchair. I think he brought a wheelchair and uh, they carry him inside. Let him go and sit there. Let him go and sit there. And then put him where there is air condition. Le temps des miracles n'est pas revenu. Le Dieu des miracles est au milieu de nous. Son nom c'est Jésus Christ. La guérison instantanée dans la puissance du nom de Jésus. Let him go there. Nous sommes en direct de la synagogue et de toutes les nations. L'homme de Dieu commence à prier pour la congrégation pour un temps de délivrance et de guérison. Vous avez vu le nom de Jésus-Christ à l'œuvre de l'Esprit et la puissance de Dieu. Regardez cette femme. Stop disturbing me. Take him to the outside there. Let him see where. Man of God, have mercy on me. My back. Dans la présence de Jésus qui est la guérison, la délivrance. Oh, come on. L'homme de Dieu prie et exerce l'autorité de la puissance du nom de Jésus-Christ, de nom élevé au-dessus de tous les noms. Regardez. Et 
elle est sous l'influence du Saint-Esprit. Dieu la visite par la guérison. Regardez. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I'm from Norway. I'm from Norway. I have a very stiff neck. You are from Norway. Yes. Okay, come on. Come on. Cette femme est venue de la Norvège. Elle a le cou raide. À la suite d'une luxation des os, elle utilise une minerve pour soutenir son cou. L'homme de Dieu prie dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit, la main invisible de Dieu est en train de faire ce qu'un homme ne peut faire, c'est-à-dire la restauration et le miracle de la guérison. Regardez. Elle est déclarée libre. Regardez cette femme s'ajuster sur la puissance de Dieu. Okay, stand up, stand up, stand up. Go, go. Go. Elle est libre. Ok, 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 because of time, please. Can you talk if you want to talk? Thank you, Jesus. I've broken the leg. Ok, sorry. Cette femme a souffert. Yes, 22 years. Elle a souffert pendant 22 ans d'une difficulté à marcher à la suite de l'arthrose qui affectait ses deux genoux. Mais Jésus-Christ, les vivants, est en train de la restaurer. La puissance de résurrection est à l'œuvre dans son corps, dans sa chair et ses os. Regardez. Give them your free. Go. Le temps avec Jésus-Christ, c'est le temps avec la restauration. Hey! You look strange here. Come on, you look strange. There's a spirit woman inside you. You are into woman. You are a man, but you are a woman. You are a man. You are a woman. You are a man. You are a woman. You are a man. Please don't stop me there. Can you take my mother and sit down? You are a man. You are a woman. You are a man. You are a woman. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Dit, je vois un homme, je vois une femme dans la même être. La main du Seigneur est en train de briser les chaînes du diable qui tourmentent la vie de cet homme. L'homme dit qu'il voit un esprit de femme, un esprit d'homme. You are real. You are being raped. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I say you are being raped. Did I say violent? Yes. Mm, you have the spirit of woman inside you. Yes, men of God. Mm, and you, you, you keep fighting the spirit. Yes, men of God. But that's you, true. You, you know you're a man, but there's a spirit in woman that is talking to yes, you. Yes, that's true, men of and God. And when you move, you walk like a woman too. Have you? Yes, men of God. And you, you, you allow, but you don't like it. But that woman keep talking. Keep acting, keep looking, keep smiling, keep looking. If I'm right, yes, men of God, you are free. Come on, thank you. Le monsieur a déclaré que cet homme a un esprit de femme en lui et qu'il le contrôle. C'est la délivrance de cet esprit de la puissance du nom de.